Right, we the ones that's pressing the city. We the ones that gotta march. Black lives matter. We gotta let people know that our lives matter. Other racist people don't have to do that. Cause they everybody already know they say lives matter. But us. So the Bible said we're gonna be cursed in the city. And cursed up the be in the field. So he said not only is we gonna be cursed in the city, we're gonna be cursed in the field. What race of people was cursed in the field? Picking cotton. Right. 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 Chicken white. Chicken white. Right, was, the, was the white man picking cotton with us saying, hold on, hold, hold on, Jamarki, I got you, I'm going to help you out. And he getting his back beat in with us. No, no, I got you. But no, we was the only ones that was picking cotton. The Bible talking about us. We are the Israelites, sister. We are the people of God. We are God true. We are God chosen. What do you mean, Israelites? Like people from Israel? Yes, we are the people of the Bible. Let me show you. Let me show you. So we came from that place called Israel? Yes. How we got to America? Slave trade. Slave trade, right? So what we what we was from? So where we came from? West Africa. A lot of what people came from West Africa. Right? So we are we come from Jerusalem. We are the Israelites. Come check off. We call ourselves black, right? Are we really are we really black? You know what I'm saying? We call ourselves African Americans. How can those are two continents? How can I be African and American at the same time? You see what I'm saying? Do I believe in God? So when you so when we get into the Bible, we see how our history lined up with the Bible. And even going back to Jesus Christ, this is not Jesus Christ. Right? Jesus Christ was a black man. From, he was a Jew. We the real Jew. You know what I'm saying? We ain't African. You don't think that? Why you, why you make that face? I can prove it. Let me prove it. Give me that revelation. Prove how we Jew. Give me that revelation. Yo. Right? Revelation chapter 2 and verse number 9. Bring it out. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So now he's talking about us. He said he know our works and tribulation, but we rich. Because even though we're going through the, the worst conditions in the whole world, we still rich because we're we receiving the commandment and the promise that God promised us, right? But thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. So the Bible says you got a group of people out here. That's saying they Jews, right? And are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. So you have people that are out here that's pretending to be us that's calling themselves Jews, but they're not the real Jews. Because even then, give me that, give me that Luke 21, 24 house. Uh, who wasn't going to be in our homeless? I'm going to show you again, sister, because even those Jewish people, they know they're not the real Jews. They stole our idea. That's what they call themselves Jewish. Because they acting to be you. If I say you acting childish, right? Are you really a child? You know, you acting like a child. So why they call themselves Jewish instead of calling themselves Jew? Because they pretending to be the real Jews, but they're not. We the so real what do we get, get out of being the real Jews? Like, huh? What do we get out of being the real Jews? Like, what happened? I did not come back, but I did come back. Yeah, well, I, so remember, brother, keep commandments. Like, what's the place? That's a good question. I'm gonna show you. Because it gotta be something important because if it wasn't, why did why did they gotta hide our identity? Why they lie to tell us Jesus is white? Why they tell us they the Jews to the blood? It's something important that they that they trying to hide from us. I just sure. think that they think that is them and they just they just think it's them. They just think that's what the image they put out there. They gonna be self centered to themselves. Hey, you said they're gonna be what? Of course they self centered to themselves. Like if they the one that painted, right. they the one that's making the image, of course they gonna do it. How about if they the one, they the, they the same people that say color don't matter. How about if color didn't matter? No, they know color matter. A lot of them say it don't matter though. But if color didn't matter, why would they change the image from how it truly was said in the Bible to a white man? See what I'm saying? They, they think that that's how they look, but it's not talking about them. But that's they, they know. Think. No, they know that's not how Jesus really look. They're trying to fool you. They're trying to fool us. You know, the Bible says how Jesus look in the Bible. Right. They say black folks don't read. So that's why they fool us. They can say anything we want to say about the color of Christ. All right. I get, I mean, if you think we real quick, you said what, what's important, like what do we get out of being Jew? I'm going to read this way and let you go. The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 2. Bring it out. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I can wish that my soul were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Who are Israelites? Paul oh, was the Israelite. His people are the Israelites. Israelites according to the flip. Now we're going to see what do we get out of being Israelite? What do we get out of being Jews? Who are Israelites? Who are 
Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenant, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises, who are the fathers, and whom concerning the flesh Christ came. Right, so Christ made a, the Most High God made a covenant with your ancestors. With me and your people, he made a covenant with us. And all these things he just read is supposed to go to our people. But if, if we don't know that we're the Jews and the Israelites, how we know what we're supposed to do to receive the promise, to receive the covenant? And it says, that's the whole reason why Christ came. It's for these people. I mean, because we're like the true Israelites and all that. Then why we go through so much oppression? Why we have to like beg to be treated right? Why we have to beg for for be you know to be treated right in this country? Or why are we an oppressed people? Okay, that's what I was reading earlier when I asked you who was cursing the city and cursing the field. The reason why we going through this punishment is because we obey, we disobeyed God. We didn't keep His commandments, so we going through a curse right now. He so, so since white folks oppressed us. And they did all this bad stuff. Won't they get cursed for what they did? Yeah, at the end, when they. Give me Isaiah. Give me uh, Okay. Yes, good question. I'm going to show you. Give me Isaiah. That's a good question. They is going to get punished. But they're not going to get punished right now because we're getting our punishment. But when our punishment over, that's when they're going to get punished. They got to pay for all the rape, rob, and murder that they did to our people. You can't get away from 400 years of uh, destroying the people. Rape, raping the women, cutting the babies out of the woman's stomach, beating the babies to alligators. The most I got is for me. What did we do so bad to deserve that day? Because we never enslaved anybody. We, this is what we did. We made a covenant with the Most High God and we broke that covenant. We lied. We told the Most High God that we were going to do something but we didn't do it. So it's, I mean, he is punishing us for our life. No, what was the covenant we broke? The commandment. He gave us the commandment. You know the Ten Commandments? 1948 when they got set up. We're supposed to keep those commandments. Even it's more than that, but even just the Ten. We're supposed to keep, we're supposed to keep the Ten Commandments, but we didn't keep it. We got the commandment. Uh, keep the Sabbath day holy. A lot of my people don't keep the Sabbath day holy. Uh, don't have no idols. A lot of people out here how have idols. They, they worship LeBron James. They worship Michael Jordan. We still breaking these Ten Commandments to this day. So this is why we still in this punishment because we not listening to God. Now, well, yeah, white folks need to have the same thing because they not listening to God either. They I'm, oppress us. So I'm gonna read it to you. you know, I'm waiting for they. Um, I'm waiting for they day. And it's coming. This is what we got. Okay. This is coming. Bring it out. For the Lord will have, so like Isaiah 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So this is talking about uh, when uh, Jesus come back. He gonna have mercy on his people, right? He gonna have mercy and compassion upon us. He gonna choose us. And set them in their own land. He gonna set us in our own land. That's right. That's right. And the strangers shall be joined with them. So this is talking Keep about the white, all right? these young people. In other races, they're gonna, they gonna be joined with us, right? Keep going. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they gonna cleave to us because we gonna be in we gonna be in rulership. And whatever we say, they gonna have to do. Keep going. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So we're gonna take them. We're not gonna ask them. We're gonna take them and bring them to our place. And let's see what they're gonna be doing when they uh we bring them to our place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. They're gonna be what? For servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives. We're gonna take them what? Shall take them captives. We're gonna take them white what? Shall take them captives. So we're gonna take them captives. The same things that they did to us. We're going to do to them in due time. What goes around comes around. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were. Right. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So it's going to be, the kingdom of heaven is going to be a completely 360. How they in rulership right now, we're going to be in rulership. How we had to serve them in the fields picking cotton, they're going to serve us like that in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to have to pay for what they did. Let me ask you a question real quick. How many gates do you think the kingdom of heaven have? Twelve. Twelve, right? Who them gates for then? You're right, it's twelve gates, but who you think those twelve gates for? The twelve tribes of what? Judah. Or Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel. So, we know it's more than the Israelites. We know who the Israelites is. What what are other people going to be at then? If the, if the kingdom of heaven got twelve gates for the twelve tribes of Israel, what about the other race of people? They gonna be servants and handmaids. It's not for them. We gonna inherit the kingdom of heaven. They gonna be there, but they gonna be serving you, sister. The same way we had to clean their feet, the same way we had to um, go in the field picking cotton, the same way we had to go and serve them food while they was at the table eating. 
same way they gonna have to do to us. We're gonna be in rulership. We're gonna have sitting on thrones while they working for us. Give me that uh give me that loot 25 and 44. So that's what the gospel is, sister. The gospel is we the Israelites, we gotta keep the commandments. And these other races of people that, that did us done us wrong, judgment is coming to them real soon. We just gotta be patient. Give me, the, give me that rubber that's stuck in the Look at Deuteronomy chapter 37. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord to do all the commandments which I command thee this day. Right, so all these curses that we own, sister, what'd you say? My bad, my bad. I'm gonna say, oh. So all these things that we going through as black people, you ever like, why are we, we last high in first fight? Everybody hate us. We gotta prove ourselves to everybody. We can be the smartest one in the, in the job site, but yet we gotta work 10 times harder than the white, to that white woman. And you know that you're smarter. You more intelligent than her, but you gotta show yourself 10 times more than she do. Same thing we going through, the same thing they want to go through real soon. They will be telling you since we gotta, Bring it up. Through Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. Bring it out. If any man have an ear, let him hear. This is karma in the Bible. This verse right here is karma in the Bible. Bring it out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What the Bible said? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Bible said if you lead a group of people into captivity, you're going to go into captivity. Now, did the white people go? Did they go into captivity yet? They did it. But they hear though, because the Bible don't the Bible don't lie. The Bible says if you lead a group of people into slavery, you yourself and your people gotta go into slavery. It just hasn't happened yet. But they know they know they think about it. They know that we more superior than them. I was saying is they can't even go in the sun without getting sunburned. We don't need sunscreen to go in the sun. You know, we naturally stronger. Look at look at sports. Look at look, who dominating football? What race of people dominate sports? Black people, the best athletes are our people. That's how you know that we the chosen people. You have other every other race of people, they gotta they gotta try to train. We naturally good at everything we do. We we the best dressers, we the best musicians. What race of people can cook like us? We the best cook, we season our food. We have some people don't even season their food. You know what I'm saying? We are the people of God. We are the we are the chosen people of God. We gotta stop thinking that we African Americans. We gotta stop thinking that we just regular people. We are we are beings of light. You know what I'm saying? We go in the sun. We're going to get it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, and verse six. Yeah, yeah. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Most High God said we are holy people. Stop thinking we equal to the white man. Let's stop thinking we equal to the Arab man, to the Chinese man. We are above them, man. Right, we are the God. We are the gods of this earth. The Bible says in Psalms 82 and 6, we God. All right, I got here. All right. Deuteronomy 76, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. What? Has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, man. So we chosen. You feel what I'm saying? We are God. So who dressed like us, man? Who can cook like us? Who can dance like the so-called African American man and Hispanic man? No other race of people can do what we do, man. How would America look if we wasn't here? It wouldn't be no sports, it wouldn't be no entertainment, it wouldn't be no good food, it wouldn't be no musicians, right? We are the people of God, man. We're the salt of the earth. Give me that, man. We are the salt of the earth, man. If we wasn't here, it wouldn't be no type of flavor. That's why the white man gotta steal everything from us, man. They know that we gods of this earth. How y'all doing, sister? Y'all got two minutes. You can have two minutes of y'all time. Okay, all praise, all praise. All praise. Hey, what
Let's go. 